it's been a long time since I've had this car running. Pretty much it went down last year during the 2019 uh, shootout right before. Um, raced the bike and then afterwards start to hear a usual noise. Oil pressure was a little higher than normal. And luckily, you know, I, well, not luckily, just using my common sense, I was like, hey, I've been through this before. Let's not beat this freaking car anymore. Let's stop it and uh, tear it down to see what we can find. And luckily we did and ended up finding, um, this was actually bearing number one. If you can see here, it's pretty gnarly. Spun pretty bad and I uh, actually ruined the crank. Um, that was the only damage though. So I ended up pulling the motor, um, going through it and getting everything back out to Andy over at A-Star Fabrication and Pontiac and uh, Andy built a new uh, A-Star Fab uh, two liter for me. Um, I mean, this thing came out beautiful, guys. He is the man for Evo needs, Honda. Um, he does tons of fab work too, custom work. Uh, he's, he's really good. But um, yeah, it took a couple months. We got that done. Um, and pretty much I've just been acquiring and getting everything I can together so we can get the, the Evo back going again. Um, so yeah, um, got my last piece in um, literally five minutes ago from Boost and Performance. I just want to thank those guys. Um, they worked with me and they got the parts to me pretty freaking quick during the, the quarantine and everything that's going down. Um, but I mean, everything is, is like brand new on this car. Um, my buddy, uh, Jacob Johnson, um, JJ we call him, um, check his channel out, Ripping and Tearing TV. He's uh, on his way over. And we are going to reassemble this thing, um, put the motor back in. I got a fresh ported uh, FP black going in, um, built head, um, built motor. It's built trans transfer case. I mean, this car is is there hasn't been anything on this car that hasn't been touched. Um, I'm hoping for some good numbers on a dyno and um, some good track times with it too. So. Um, I will be uploading another video of first startup and then once I get to the dyno and, and get that stuff done I'll have a, uh, a dyno video for you um, to see what kind of power it makes and of course you know track and then stuff like that and hopefully keeping this thing together throughout the summer and also making it to the 2020 shootout that's my my biggest thing right now um, because I've yet to take this car to the shootout. And out of all my Evos, this one's been the most costly and best put together car. Um, like I said, it has the best parts on it. I didn't skip anything on this car from the oil cooler, um, even down to, to flange bolts and fluids even. Um, it has the best of the best. So you can't cheap out on these cars. But yeah, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, keep following me for updates, and I'll uh, I'll keep updating.